He got some stitches, but I want everybody to know that he was fine. He was back to work the same day. He's a tough dog, and the community outpouring was phenomenal. I mean, we got cards, we got letters, we had, I actually had somebody request to pay his bill. So uh, it was very interesting, and uh, the bill part was reserved for a lot of pops girls, they're gonna pay the bill. Uh, one of the things I wanna talk about, uh, just to remind you, is if you have any interest in uh, hot spots that you see people traveling and violating speeding, give us a note, give us a heads up. I got a couple from Councilman Arms and of course, Councilwoman Miller. So if you have any spots where you're getting complaints about, please let me know and we will focus on some safety during the summer. Uh, for those of you who weren't here for the bike race, it was a very good success. Uh, this was the first time we had Omega Services in the borough and they did an outstanding job. So we were really pleased about that. Um, there were a few complaints about traffic, but overall, in the bike ranks were without a hitch. So we were pretty pleased about that. On the same note, uh, the Hill School had a very large lacrosse tournament. I had an opportunity to talk to Councilman Kirkland about that. We did get a lot, a uh, fair amount of complaints from the neighbors in the parking issue, but overall, it was a very large success where almost 6,000 people came into the borough and they they really, they stayed in hotels, they ate a lot of food while they were here. It just was a really nice event and it was well attended. And the only issue that we had is we just need to plan a little bit more in advance. So we're going to do that. Uh, finally, for me, is uh, the speed sign locations that we, we had approved have been located and it's just a question of putting together an invoice, getting to the borough manager, and getting approval to start buying the speed signs. Once we get that, we'll begin to post it and reduce the speed limits throughout the borough from 35 <coughs> to 25. Now, I'd like to introduce uh, captain of the Community Prosecution Unit, Brianna Ring. Good evening, everyone. I'm really pleased to be here tonight, and I was uh, very happy about a month ago when the DA selected me to be to lead this new Pottstown Community Prosecution Unit. Um, I have really enjoyed meeting many of you in the past couple weeks, and I look forward to continuing to uh, meet with you all so I can discuss the, the, the new unit and, um, and our objectives and some projects we've been working on. Um, I'd also like to, on behalf of the District Attorney, Kevin Steele, invite you all to uh, join us on July 19th at 10.30 a.m. for a press conference at which time the DA will formally announce and roll out this new initiative. Um, we're really excited to be here. We're looking forward to really um, meeting, really helping uh, to make Pottstown a safer place. And we hope that you'll all join us um, in announcing that. So, thank you. July 19th, July 19th 10.30 a.m. And they'll be here at Burrow Hall. 